Hello friends, have a nice day. Friends, today we will discuss in detail about direct couple amplifier. The direct couple amplifier is specially used to amplify the low frequency and low amplitude signals such as amplifying photoelectric current, thermocouple current, microphone signals and like so. Actually, the electrical size of any coupling component becomes very large at the low frequencies and hence they are not used at all. As no coupling devices are used, the output of one stage is directly connected to the next stage and therefore such amplifiers are called as direct couple amplifier. Come to this circuit diagram. Actually, this is three stage direct couple transistor amplifier. Here, the output of first stage is directly connected to the input of next stage without using any coupling component. And of course, the output of second stage is again connected to third stage without using any complete components come to its circuit operation. We have taken this circuit once again here. See, here the input signal when applied at the base of first transistor, see at this terminal, it gets amplified due to transistor action and the amplified output appears at the collector resistor RC of transistor T1 that means at collector of first transistor. Now again this output is applied to the base of next transistor T2 which further amplifies the signal. Again this output is connected to the base of next transistor T3 that means the collector of second transistor is directly connected to input that means base of next that means third transistor which will further amplify this signal and in this way the input weak signal will amplify consistently in direct couple amplifier and finally it will appear at the collector of third transistor amplifier. Now see in this figure the transistor first it is NPN type while the second transistor is PNP type again third is NPN type. This is because the variations in one transistor tend to cancel the variations in other that means actually the rise or increase in collector current and variations in beta of the first transistor which may be due to irrelevant causes gets cancelled by the decrease in other transistors. Come to next, it is frequency response. Actually this frequency response, it is the curve of frequency versus gain. See, in this graph on x axis, we have taken this frequency and on y axis we have taken this gain. Now it is observed from this curve that at low frequencies, so actually this is the area of low frequency, the response is good that means during this region the gain is good whereas at middle frequencies that this is the middle frequency we are drawing here and at high frequency that means after middle frequency this will be the region for high frequencies that means we are talking about during this middle frequency and high frequencies the response rolls down that means the frequency response that means actually the gain of this amplifier rolls down. Roll downs means that decreases. 
this uh, rolls down or decrease in gain it is due to the mismatching of impedance and also it is due to loading effect of various stages so these are two basic reasons come to next slide it is about the advantages of direct coupled amplifier now see this amplifier its arrangement is simple because of minimum use of components that means here due to absence of that coupling components we can say there is minimum use of total components this is advantage next the circuit is low cost of course because of the absence of expensive coupling devices normally we use any coupling device like resistor component capacitors or transistors and like so so here it is low cost due to absence of these components next it amplifies low frequency signals very well so these are its three total advantages now this is having also some disadvantages so first it cannot be used for amplifying mid and high frequency signals already we have discussed that during this mid and high frequency range its gain goes to decrease that means this is its disadvantage next the operating point is shifted due to temperature variations due to any reason if the temperature changes then the related operating point already we have discussed this operating point in first year there we had name it by different definitions like operating point of course we are talking about this working point q point silent point or quiescent point there are various names so this operating point may change due to change in temperature this is its disadvantage next it amplifies dc signals along with the ac signals normally ac signal should be amplify and appears at output this is desired but along with this ac signals some dc signals also get amplified by using this direct coupled amplifier and that's why it comes under this disadvantages next there are particular applications of this amplifier so particularly it is used to amplify very weak or very low level signals and next it is preferred for low frequency signals amplifications that means all this is about advantages disadvantages and applications of direct coupled amplifiers friends if you have any questions then you can ask these questions through feedback forms through whatsapp network or even through google classrooms so we should stop here and thank you uh, please take care and be healthy thank you thank you very much